what's going on guys i'm back again with another short video and today i have a samsung galaxy j7 and i believe it's with uh, t-mobile uh, but nonetheless it doesn't really matter the carrier uh, this method should work on almost all galaxies including the s8 s8 plus j7 j5 j3 uh, i'll just list a few things that you'll need so i can get straight to the point uh, you can see this device is currently google account like um let's begin what you'll need is wi-fi a PC or computer so that way uh, you can uh, use a program to bypass it a USB cable which would need to be connected to the phone and depending on your device you may need a Bluetooth headset uh, in my case I will need one but I was just saying you might need one depending on your uh, model uh, with the, Ga the Galaxy S8 I believe you don't need one um, the only way to find out is by getting to the screen and uh, once you get over here you, you see the microphone option there should be a settings option also with that you hold it down if it's coming up there we go and you hold the settings from here you should get in these uh, settings to come up go all the way down to the bottom as you can see where it says about Samsung keyboard uh, this is where you should be able to see update now in my case it doesn't show update it says app info now before you assume that you need a headset uh, I would recommend you do a, a factory restore or, or a hard reset uh, and then retry again now if you don't know how to do a, a hard reset I have a text here that will be included with this download and it should help you uh, I guess it should help better explain what I'm trying to say so that way you can uh, factory restore it uh, like I said um, see I don't have the option to update so let's let's go from here uh, go all the way back now if you do have that have the option to update hold hold tight sit tight and we'll get there and then from here using a Bluetooth headset I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna get it ready to be paired because you got to be this do this real quick and this is a Bluetooth headset that can activate Chrome and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it ready to be paired. There we go. We set this to the side. And then from here, we're going to make an emergency call. What I like to do is the 112, but you got to do it real quick. So that way it doesn't actually make it through to, to make a phone call. And like I said, it's being, it's ready to be paired. So what I'm going to do is dial 112 very quickly. And it should give you the option to, for the Bluetooth. And then. There we go. And just like that, the device is paired. And what I'm going to do now is, uh, if you were able to update, just type in calculator. Uh, and just sit tight. Now, like I said, since I have this activated, what I'm going to say is calculator. It should enable Chrome calculator. And uh, if you were to up, uh, if you were able to update, just look for the calculator. Type in calculator. And there we go. And that should come up. Right here. And tap it. Now you're gonna dial a few numbers. It should, like I said, again, it's gonna be included with this text. If you can, if you can't see it, it's here. If not, like I said, when you download it, this text is included. Uh, Give me one second. From here, you're gonna dial parentheses. Uh, where's it at? Here we go. You're gonna dial plus three zero zero one two zero one two seven three two plus and that should come up right now again each each model is different if uh, if you get this come up uh, actually we're not here uh, after this what you're gonna do now is you're gonna dial uh, if, you, if you if you have a US phone you're gonna dial pound pound three six 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 three three pound as you can see right here pound pound three six 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 three three pound now if you have an international phone which this is considered one uh, you're gonna dial star 
pound eight uh, zero eight zero eight pound and this is where it should take you now you get uh, different phones come up with different options if you come if you get this option you're gonna select the last one DM plus ACM plus ADB now with a Galaxy S8 I believe it should come up with two options where you dis disable or enable uh, DM mode what you're gonna do is enable it again it's gonna be here listed here too uh, just in case you can't really figure out what I'm trying to say uh, but like I said if you have this settings come up select the last one and if you have the other one where it just gives you two options to select you're just gonna enable once you enable it just press OK and reboot reboot and uh, while it's rebooting like I said there's gonna be files that you're gonna that you're gonna need to download um, you're gonna need a Samsung or the Samsung drivers if you previously had your uh, phone connected to your PC these uh, drivers should be installed already now if you don't have them I'm gonna include them in the link or in the description uh, and just download it from there and install it and uh, once you have that installed uh, there's uh, another link that you need the the minimal ADB itself and again like I said, I'll show you how how it should come and uh, you're gonna need a uh, zip file opener if you don't have one again I'm gonna include that uh, you can use a 30-day trial if you're just gonna use this at least once uh, like I said this is how it comes included and like I said this is the text that's gonna be included and this is the program itself uh, like I said install it once you have it installed it should come up like this and this is how it, sh it should look like minimal ADV fast boot and just like that we're just gonna put this to the side uh, still holding the same phone here um, before we begin proceed and I apologize for the outside noise I got things going around me so I apologize for that but uh, like I said I'm just trying to explain this as best as I can because there's some of you guys out there that has never done this before and uh, I think it's a little bit challenging but it's really not it's just it's just need some patience uh, Let's just proceed and what you're gonna do is get to the to this screen. Now from this screen just sit tight. Alright, once we're ready, we're gonna plug in the phone itself via computer or in the USB cable to the phone. Make sure it's connected both sides. And from here, the text should include two this file should include two uh, text that needs to be copied and pasted. The first one is short. It says ADB shell content insert dash dash URI. What you're going to do is paste and hit enter. Um, before before you do this, make sure if uh, text comes out on the, uh, the phone itself, it, which says if you would like to allow, hit always allow and press OK. So that way uh, you can proceed to the next step. And then once you have the text, copy, paste, enter. There we go and then you copy the second one copy all text don't make sure you don't miss one and paste and if it says error fail to restart daemon you're going to keep trying uh, and pasting because sometimes it takes a couple of tries and it should say and it should say uh successful on the bottom Damon started successfully like I said it can take a couple of times a couple of tries now once it says uh, successful and you can see this device is still locked and it says successful uh, once it does say that just hit home and there we go now we're in the settings uh, from here what you're gonna do is do a factory store to clear all information stored on the device um, just go to general management and restore and reset um, if you found this video helpful guys don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching